All right, this thing is looking really good. Uh, we're actually starting to put it back together. Paint is complete. So, uh, like I mentioned in the videos when you know I was showing you guys some painting stuff, uh, we still have like some dirt nibs I got to take care of, but uh, I'm not going to be cutting and buffing this car. This is just going to be like denibbing and doing some compound on those areas. So. As you can see, the reflection, it's not bad, okay, as far as orange peel goes. So uh, it's just, you know, when you paint in a garage like this, you're going to get dirt nibs. You can't stop it. But th that's easily correctable. And even if you have a spot that's, like, deep, you can always put a little clear coat in it, let it, let it dry, and then sand that down and, and buff it out. And, you know, you can make it look really good. So... Yeah, uh, it's just been, I've been taking my time putting it back together and uh, painting these inner door panels and some of the interior stuff. So I just wanted to kind of go over this again. I know I have a video about, I don't know, a year ago or so of painting the other parts of this interior. Uh, so I'm not going to, okay, I painted all of the console and the, the armrest and all that. And so this is like a year, year and a half update. On this stuff I get a lot of questions on the the paint that I use you know the um, SEM Landau black on as far as does it fade okay uh, yes it does a little bit uh, as you can see it's probably hard to tell but these seats were originally uh, blue I think blue or gray no these were gray Okay, and uh, as you can see, this hasn't really faded much, but the black here does start to fade a little bit. And this is, like I said, about a year and a half. Uh, what else? Uh, but, you know, as far as the vinyl goes, it looks pretty good. So that's one of the biggest questions I get on, on the, um, the paint. Uh, I, I'm not going to be able to get to this part here, the dash, the dash pad. It's... I got to pull the dash part to do that. So I don't know if I want to attempt to try to tape it off and just paint this section and then over there too. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But uh, in this video, I just kind of want to show you guys painting this again and also the progress or not the progress, but an update on the paint I did a year and a half ago. Okay. So this is all from, you know, like I said, a year and a half ago, this is all painted. None of this is black. This was all, I believe it was all gray. Some blue parts. I noticed that, no, actually most of it's gray. I do have some of the blue parts in my storage area. And that's, what, that's another thing I was going to mention, is that uh, gray seems to dye the best. The, uh, the blue, I've noticed, yeah, okay, sorry, Here, here's the blue stuff. I get confused because I have so many different parts over here, but um, so see, this is this is the blue uh, parts, and as you can see, I did paint that too, but it, it's hard to see in the video because all this stuff's way up here. But the uh, the the blue doesn't it doesn't take the dye as well. Um, you can see a chip right here of the blue. Um, it didn't take. So, um, yeah, this was actually the items that were going to go back into the black Mustang, but I ended up doing, you know, aluminum door cards and just making it more race car than putting all the interior back in. So I have all the interior for it and it's all painted. So th you can tell this too, this was blue right there and, uh, I'm not going to pull it down, but it just, it took more paint. It took more, and it, and it just didn't turn out as good as these door panels. These, these gray door panels, they turned out way better than I thought they would. I guess gray kind of turns black easier. I don't know, but, I mean, look at these. These are, like, pretty amazing, the way they look. And, uh, yeah. So let's go over here and I'll show you guys the paint and we'll kind of just go over the process again. Like I said, I know I've done this before, 
but it's something that a lot of people like to do and you know want direction on it and want to see how it's going to turn out before they go and spend the money on this paint which is it's pretty expensive paint um you get the you know you can get this from lmr or i recommend going on amazon and getting landau black 15013 it's the same stuff okay lmr just rebrands or whatever i don't know uh i did get this vinyl prep spray from lmr i think i don't know i've had this for a long time so i've already done so we still got to do this one here so this is the one i'm going to show you guys on how to do all right uh this one here is all, almost done i gotta do one more coat on it but as you can see that's just one coat it's looking pretty good already but uh let me finish this one up and then we'll go through actually prepping and painting this one all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is basically just use the vinyl prep spray and uh wipe it down i mean this is pretty simple i you know i don't like to spray too much of this on there um it's pretty much just to kind of clean it and i think it kind of like softens up the, the plastic a little bit so that it will the paint will kind of take uh, but i just don't like to use that much And one thing I can tell you about this painting, okay, this type of paint, it's extremely forgiving. So you don't have to worry about like uh, runs. You don't have to worry about like overspray is not that big of an issue. Um, like 90% of this paint evaporates. The dye is what's left behind. This is not like normal paint. This is, it's like totally different. So it, it goes on really like wet, but then dries like within seconds and uh, just leaves the dye behind. And it's really crazy because you can kind of like just put it on really thick and it just won't run. I mean, it just evaporates and the runs go away, even if it will run. So like I'm saying, this stuff is extremely forgiving. So I'm going to go over the black too, just so that this black, or, you know, once this is black, it doesn't look different than this black. And uh, these, these Fox bodies, they all crack right here. This is like, I don't know, it's pretty much normal for it to crack right here. Um, so you just kind of want to make sure it's dry. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people do this and they'll spray a lot of this stuff on there. Uh, the prep spray, I don't like to do that. I just like to do it really lightly. Try to move the camera a little closer so y'all can see. Hopefully that looks that looks good. So we'll do like a light coat first. And as far as like technique goes, you could do this however you want. Like you could go over it um, in different areas. It doesn't matter. Like this is it's like I said, it's very forgiving. Technique is not super critical with, with this stuff. And an another thing is like, if I accidentally touch it like that, it doesn't smear it. It's, it's really strange. This stuff is really interesting. Like it doesn't, it's not like normal paint. Uh, it just, it's, it's just a dye. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain.
Definitely wear a mask though, because this stuff is like, the smell of this is much different than like normal paint. Uh, it, it's very, uh, I don't, I can't explain it. Like the gas com that comes off of this is very um, toxic. I should probably be wearing my respirator instead of just this N95, but uh, I have some pretty good ventilation in here, so. So as far as, uh, if you want to do your entire interior, so let's say you want to you want to do your seats, your all your interior, you're going to need at least four to five cans of this, okay? Uh, when I did my seats, it took about a can per seat, okay? So keep that in mind. And I also noticed that like wherever you spray this, the overspray is not really an issue. Like, um, you know, like if you look on my floor, there's, I don't see any black paint. So it's this stuff is just, um, I don't know, it just likes to soak into plastic, so. And I don't, and I don't have any recommendation as far as like do a wet coat and, you know, a light coat and then a, and then a wet coat. Like, I don't know, I think you can do it no matter how you, how you want to do it. Put it on wet, put it on light coat, and then wet. Like, I don't think it matters. So, um, I've tried it both ways, and honestly, it just doesn't matter. And when, as it dries, you'll, you'll see right away like areas you missed, so. This one is just about done. So this one can here, I pretty much did both of those, um, these sail panels, and uh, there's there's quite a bit left over. So that's just gonna about do it. Maybe a little white spot there, or a lighter spot, I should say. camera up here let you guys see that um, hopefully it comes through looks pretty good um, obviously it's still wet but uh, we'll let this dry and let's see if I can get by this here and you can look at the one that's already done this is what it comes out when it's done It just looks really good. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the black, so. All right, so we'll let that dry and uh, we'll go ahead and install these and I'll kind of wrap this video up because it's probably getting long, but I think you guys get the idea of how this stuff works and how it looks. And again, you know, like with, as far as the questions go of how long it lasts, uh, the seats, like I said, a year and a half and they're already starting to fade. So. Uh, you know, you, you could pull them out and do them again. You know what I mean? Like, I, and it probably wouldn't take as much paint to do it the second time. So you could touch them up, right? I mean, it's not a big deal. So yeah, it's a good option instead of trying to locate all black interior. And plus it's a, it costs a fortune to try to do that, so. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into too much depth on how to install one of these, pa these sail panels. Uh, if you took it apart, then you know how to put it back together. Uh, you know, you just got to pull your 
seat belt through uh you know i mean if i really wanted to go all out i would paint the seat belt too which i may just paint this part and leave the seat belt gray but um you know i could do that in the future so uh yeah i mean it looks really good it's gonna match up really nice with the uh, door panels um this here goes up under so you won't see that but uh yeah and obviously I have, you know, I've got the rear seat delete, so I don't have any of that. This will just be exposed here. Uh, I may put a screw in there just to make it look good. But yeah, I'm pretty happy how it's turning out. Um, the next video, maybe we'll show some of the cutting and buffing of like the dirt nibs and all that. But I don't know if that would even be a good video or not. We'll see. Uh, but I'm happy the way the car is coming out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it. Uh, the, the one thing I'm most proud about this car is it still has the grocery net, which I think is pretty cool. Usually stuff like that with these cars that are 30 years old, stuff like that gets tossed out or lost or whatever, but this one still has it and I've always kept it. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Check you all later.